want to live. Where did you get your inspiration for your design? So, I don't know if you got a chance to look at the program, but basically I kind of created the story in my head that our girl Friday, Hayden, found out one of her model friends named Love has gone missing, and she's on a mission to make sure she's safe and that the guilty will take her a punish. So, hence a lot of the red, a lot of the dark, um, black, and the white, and kind of the, um, you know, school girl, pencil girl, girl Friday kind of image. So that was the whole story that was kind of revolving in my head from the beginning. So I hope that came across. That's great. I know. I, I think they were designs that I would wear, and I could see, you know, people wearing on an everyday basis. Thank you. That's exactly what I want to hear. That's like the biggest compliment you could give me. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's what I want. I want women to kind of get back or feel comfortable getting back to glamming it up a little bit, you know, on a day-to-day -day and really accentuating their womanhood and exploring that. Because right now, what's in vogue is a lot of volume and things that kind of hide your curves. But I think especially when, you know, you're a woman of a certain size, like it almost helps you a little bit to accentuate what we've been given. So. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> uh, so you're a, na a New York native, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I know you are. You want to get the um, fashion industry back more toward New York, right? Of course. All my collection is made in New York. I mean, the people who I work with now, I've been working with since I was a little intern about seven, eight years ago when I didn't know anything, you know, and they've really been my family throughout all of it. And I think it's so important for us to bring production back to New York because there are amazing craftsmen here. And I think that's lost when you do outsourcing. And I mean, just as a new designer, I wouldn't be able to you know make something in China but again I want to be able to support the people who supported me on my way up and I think that's what's so important about you know made in New York and the quality is amazing so absolutely <laughs> how long did it take you to put this collection together um actually this was a speedy one for me it just kind of all came out it took me about a month from start to finish so I am happy it got accomplished and um, you know sewing up until the midnight hour yesterday but um, I think it all came out really really well and I, I I really love it. Is there one piece that you're the most proud of that you could say? Oh my goodness, they're all my babies. Um, I really do love um, the coats. They're just, you know, kind of fun and something that you can, even if you're feeling kind of schleppy on the outside, you throw on this coat and it kind of changes everything. Absolutely. You feel more elegant. You don't know what's going on underneath. Yeah, what's going on underneath. So um, definitely, you know, I do, I do love all the pieces, um, but, you know, the coats are kind of fun for now. I think they were all fun. It was fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, and I like to tell your viewers, I will, I love uh, feedback on Twitter or Facebook, so uh, you can always tweet me at Chantelet and why, and you can also find out more about the collection at www.chantelet.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So what brought you out to the show tonight? Uh, my dear friend, Espen Salberg. Okay. Yeah, the last one was his fashion line, and... He's been a, a mentor and a coach for very for many years. Espen used to be a world champion dancer himself, and then had a, a absolutely phenomenal coaching career. He's one of the geniuses of our world, and he's always had passion for fashion, passion for fashion. Yeah, I know. And then, and you know, I'm very happy to see him follow his dream. It's been a dream of his, and. I'm just very, very happy for you. So you come to all the shows, all of Espen's shows? Uh, I tried. I came to the one in Hong Kong years ago, and this is my second one, but I've kind of, we stayed very, very much in touch, and um, I knew what he was doing, and luckily, you know, schedules. Uh, you learned that. Exactly. Thank you. Nice Thank meeting you. Thank you. Nice meeting you.